Hello there, folks, and welcome back to No Man's Land for was it episode 26 on Bro now? Anyways, we got a lot of work to do. First of all, we need to feed the cows, so we're going to top up with the TMR. And as you can see, money's gone down drastically, and that is because. Turn that on. And that is because we have bought our brand new potato. No, sorry. Sugar beet and corn harvester. There we go, that's full enough. And yeah, we'll showcase off in this episode and the next one. I think what we start off with is doing the cotton harvest, and then in the next episode we can do the sugar beet one. There we go. Let's give it some delicious food. Our next feed. May have to go to the side out and get some more, but yeah, these cows are quite low on their feed, so just give them a good feed of TMR. Yeah, it's gonna need another pile, so just go and top up some more TMR. But yeah, to fund all of the purchases that we have to make, I did put back on the, well, I sent the planks from the, what's it, sawmill over. Get a little batch of cash in, but not too much. And yeah, that's going to be a worthwhile thing to do, because we are, are low on money, only two grand we've got. 2,000 years, that will do. Oof, okay. Bit of a turn radius with the class, but that's fine. But yeah, I think the best thing to do is do the con first of all, because that is needed urgently for the spinneries, or for this one, and the farm supply production. But also, <coughs> whilst we're over here, we can see the cows and see if they need more straw or things like their surrey needs emptying. I think I did it in off camera in the last episode or so. Have a little look. Oh, surrey's fine for now. Milk's okay, but what's this? That's got 40,000 years, that sounds right. But 46? Hmm. That doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's not right, I don't think. I think the best we can do is. Is it these? Okay. Apparently there's some milk in there, but there we go. That's correct is it now, but hmm, that was very odd. Oh well, bit of money enough for from the milk, so guessing that's all right. And last bit of tea bar here. Be a straw topped up in last episode or so. Yeah, we'll leave the cows there. And I think the best we can do now is skip till tomorrow and start doing the harvest. So, ATM, why not? Nice clear night, no rain. Hopefully, there's no rain for the harvest. Ooh. No more space for eggs with the chickens. 
Oh boy, that needs moving urgently. Oh, almost spoiled that. Oh, that, that's out. Okay, Barry, that needs weeding. But our sugar bee is ready, our corn's ready, so. And then what I think what we'll do as well, after we harvest this, get the plow out, finish off this field up here, join it all up, make it all look nice and neat. Oh boy, a ton of wool definitely needs to move as well. As well as the XO. Oof. Did it again. But yeah, ain't gonna spoil it just yet for you folks. Actually, I'm gonna need to drag this over. Don't need a tray for the cotton, but do need a tray for the sugar beet, so. But first of all, I need to start moving these pallets, so. Quick time lapse, get these all moved over. And then we'll progress from there, I think. Supply production does not need any more eggs. It has got plenty with still 27,000 years of eggs left about. So we're going to grab these last two egg pallets here that I've dropped. Along with the last two maple syrup pallets. Just going to swap out again. There we go. One and two. But yeah, I think there's like, by the time we get these in, there was like over 80 pallets in there. So may hit the limit soon, but we shouldn't in theory. Actually one thing got to do is go to that sawmill. There we go. Go to you. Ah, that's our wood, so need some wood in there. I don't fancy using our new trees, which are just little baby trees, barely grown yet, so 
looks like we need to, may need to buy another plot of land for some trees, but yeah, we'll look into that at some point. Just need to keep the productions up, keep sawmill producing and all that, so... But now, it's time to grab the cotton harvester, shall we? And there she is, so this is Colossus 7000. It's got a modified engine, yeah, so it can travel up 43 miles an hour. But, the important thing is, it can only harvest at 9 miles an hour or so. Yeah, I can get the Mega Omnisic version, which will harvest at 43 miles an hour, but... Yeah, it's not for me. It's like, well, it's for me, but it's not for this series, so... But yeah, I do like the look of this. Just chroming black. She looks sexy. I'm turning the lights on. Look at those beacons. All the lights, so we can harvest at night with no issues whatsoever. Harvester caught in that, so it's not missing bits. It's like a Christmas tree with these lights. <laughs> but boy, yeah, that is nice. Definitely worth the investment. Because we may do, yeah, I think we'll do another cotton harvest next year or so when is the planting window for cotton February so yes you'll turn around prepped or you may extend this field even more you know by 57 Ooh. what's that call on Ah, maybe the back end of the map. I was like, whoa, what's going on there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, forget about that. It is annoying, it is. With that. Yeah, I wish I could just go up to the tree line. I get why the boundary's there, but. Yeah, it kind of sucks, so. And I think, as usual, best way to get us done in a nice little time lapse. So, yeah, we'll get us done and see where we stand afterwards. I'm not sure what we're going to do about loading, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there.
that's done. So that is five full bells we got. Plus a partial bell that can we unload. I don't think so. We can unload a partial one. Oh, that kind of sucks. Nope, no option for it, so... There's going to be a half a bell still in there, but... I've got plans. We're going to buy two plots of land. And literally, we're going to extend this field. So we're going to buy this plot of land. And I've heard one over here. Bit of an undulation, but I know, but either that land or this one over here. I'm more drawn in for this one, I think. And just get the plow and create one big old mega field for the cotton and that because this is going to be a cotton field next year. Ooh. Little strip of here we've got, but yeah, that's gonna require a lot of work to do. And as well, in the time that you may have seen, we bought a bell tray for this, so that's got loaded up. So that's two bells it could do in one go. And also we set everything in our farm supply production, like the flour, we have 40,000 units of flour. That's been unloaded and put into storage. And... I think the pad storage is like, what, 140 pallets, so only 10 more pads it can hold, so... Need to start sending some stuff soon, I think. So I'll park you over here for now. Oof. Man, I'll spoil that. Actually, it's just grass. Oh, this is ready to mow. Hmm. Perhaps in the next episode we can get work on this. Oh yeah, because we cut in August, didn't we? And skip through most of September, so... And then we have this first crusade in November. And then come March, it'll be ready to harvest. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to do the call in this, put all of it into... The clothing factory. Because when is it best to sell clothes? It is... April, May, so... Right, it's one, two, three, four... Yeah, so we still have enough time to process all of the cotton here. Just in time for sell all the clothes so you know what that works out well for me Oops. get a sack one on and there we go but you know what let's go and buy that plot of land And I think you can actually get some more pellets, why not? So we are going to sell that production, we are going to keep it for now. But only for the pellets. Let's go unload those. Boom, that's another two pallets. Not pallets, two bells of cotton. And now I'll just go around and grab the last one. 
And there we go. That is the last cotton bell. Uh, let's go whack you in there. But yeah, only 26 grand that costs us, so for the four module. Or module four. Not too bad of a deal. Nope. Man, so many times I swore that, so. 59 we've got. We're going to cut it, eh? Oh yeah, heck yeah, we're going to cut the grass like this. Also, we got milk that we could potentially sell. This needs cut, and we'll do that in the next episode. And I'm trying to think. What else can we sell? A lot of these will sell in November. Seems a decent price now. Oh, what else? What was I looking at? Milk. 1300 so... That's peak now, so we can also sell a bunch of milk in the next episode. Get a trailer, convert that into a... Tanker once more, and then... Yeah. Sell a bunch of milk. And then with all that... Okay, if you can buy 60 at 57, we can just create the ultimate mega cotton field. That'd be nice. Yes, yeah, do that. Also, plan would be also get the wood chipper thing. Chop up these small trees. Yeah, get rid of all these small little logs and that. All over the place. Oh, some over there. Uh, that's on the other plot of land. But yeah, all oh, these are small, small ones here. So get them removed. Don't think we'll. Sp do much with the terrain. Maybe flatten this out a little bit just so it curves with this, perhaps. Hmm. Not too sure on that yet. But what I do know is going to be absolutely expensive to do. And yes, as always, it's metal grass, so we won't get much from it compared to if it was a grass field, but well, I'm not too worried about that. Actually, what? Well, we'll go and grab you. Let's go and grab the case for this. I'll find the wood chipper and a tray to put all this in. And there we go. So simply. Yeah, I may not get much from this, but so still at the end of the day. chips, with chips. This one may do some trees, some bigger trees, but I don't think we'll do many. Well, yeah, I don't think we'll touch on many. But yeah, as I can see, it's being one big, colossal, ultra, super duper mega fields. Uh, since we're over here as well, I might as well do the wood chips as well, or the sun snack, get those grounded up. But boy, this is going to be a little bit of work, so as usual, a quick way to get rid of all these is in a little time lapse. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Uh, I think, get rid of that one big one, 
and that one there on our right. And of course, I think that would do it for us, so. Well, let's do that way. There we go. So, yep, Iron Guild is done. Ain't gonna take us too long getting these small bits of trees out of the way. And then I'll see you folks when I'm done, and that's where we'll bring it off today, I think. done and that is over 90,000 litres I also spent a bit of money just moving this out for that this out bit try to see if we can smooth this corner out doubt it but no well, that's gonna be as best as it will get but yeah, overall it ain't too bad, it's got rid of all the lumpies and bumpies there. So now we'll take this over and convert these into pellets. But yeah, I'm just thinking as well, what we can do with this over here is create a track going up here. And then do around, we'll start clearing some of these. Try flatten some of it out at some point. Maybe the next year after this has been harvested, and just create a general track around. Could do a track going up, but there's no really need to because it's going to be one big old mega field. Just wrapping around some trees because I will keep a lot of those trees. Keep that aesthetic to the field, not just all square fields and that. Just have a bit of aesthetic, aesthetic to it, if that's the word. Uh, with sugar beets, we'll do that in the next episodes. Should get a fair bit, I think. So we'll put this over here. Boop. Out of the way. Okay, that's going. Wood chips is going in. With that, that's all that done, and I think that's where we'll leave it today. So, in the next episode, we'll start mowing all this, finish mowing this off, and then get on with the sugar beets. So, not sure what we're gonna do with all the sugar beets because I think what we're producing the greenhouse at the moment is more than enough for the farm supply production, but. Well, I could always have some storage and I'm always could find another production to use those. Maybe sugar beet or sugar beet cut could be used in a biogas plant. So I do want to get that modular BJ in. It's going to be a good over half a million easily, so... Not too sure on that, how that's going to go, or what... Even heck, how's it even going to come out as, so... But anyway, so that's what I could even say. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, 
Bear from the sand below. Do you want to some please be my guest? If you screw try if you're not subscribed on yet, then please consider. But for as you to do, maybe not today. But for now, speed power on every stream, and I'll see you all very soon.